is good guys to Ida from Afro Kicks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. Today's video, I'm going to show you the process of me making those football boots that were worn by James Madison on Boxing Day against Man United. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. All right, guys, so basically it is about 8 p.m. on a Tuesday evening and I am working on customising a pair of Puma football boots. Um, these are the hardest pair I've ever worked on because of the material. Let me show you the actual pair. This is a kind of fly knit-ish material, but it's so tightly woven, like it's really hard to get paint inside of this. And one of my friends suggested that I try bleaching it. I tried to bleach it. I put it in so much bleach for hours. And let me show you. So basically, I've got two pairs of them so I can kind of practice. This is the pair that I tried to bleach. What happened? Nothing. Literally. The only thing that I can say happened, a bit of the Puma logo started to come off on here. Other than that, it's like no bleach ever touched this thing. And I also tried to then just go straight on with white it is terrible because this is me testing on it another pair but with this it gets really rough and the paint starts to look all cloggy and not very pretty so now I'm working on the final pair my plan is to basically go in with some grey first so I'm going in with some grey and then hopefully adding some white on top of the grey will be easier but just, just pray for me, because these shoes got to be given to James Madison, a Leicester footballer, on Friday. Um, yeah, I don't know how they're going to turn out, but things crossed. Everything is going to be okay, because he's going to actually wear them on a match against Man United on Boxing Day. So... I just gotta hope and pray that everything goes okay. <laughs>
so it is currently 10 p.m. on Thursday the something 17th of December and the shoes are finally done and I'm actually liking the way they look so that's a good sign because usually when I don't like it I will continue putting things on it until I finally like it and I'm at that point where I like it I've changed the design so many times the texture of the shoes has completely changed because of all the paint I had to put on it to get it to white um yeah so they are done I still need to put like a um whatchamacallit on it matte finisher on it put a finisher on it um and I do know that the shoes will most likely scrape off while he's playing football because of the material that I've painted onto there's like some plasticky and obviously the soles of the shoe are hard plastic so that's gonna definitely crack off but the like the bulk of the design should stay on <laughs> fingers crossed but um I will show you what they look like and yeah basically tomorrow morning oh never mind my hair by the way this is basically me styling it for tomorrow so i'm gonna take out the ends of these and add some beads to this but um a car's coming to get me at 10 a.m tomorrow morning and then basically take me to the train station and then from the train station get the train with chunks of philly and yeah go meet up with james madison and film his reaction basically so this should be exciting i'm tired and the fact that i'm gonna have to do this design over and over and over and over again for whoever else they're giving these shoes to but the good thing is that once it's done it's done like i now know okay this is the design i can do this it's so much easier that way rather than having an idea in your mind and then starting it and being like no nah, i don't like it and then changing this and adding this and then yeah it's just a whole lot better now that i know what it's going to look like like the final product and it's just going to be easier to get there so yeah let me just i'm so tired let me just show you what they look like <laughs> Little painty paint. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think about the boots in the comment section down below because boy, they caused quite a stir on the internet. I'll also be uploading a story time video as to how I ended up actually making these boots. So make sure that you do subscribe and that you do turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload it. Until next time guys, 